Is this thing on? Good. Me again. Listen. I just made my way down to Iowa. There's a place called Adventureland. And I'm telling you, there's something, something going on. Now, I've been overloaded with projects from all across the world, but nothing can be as much surprising as this one. So I found something on site. And again, my good friend Coaster Chow, he's going to give you an update. He's going to tell you what's going on. But what I saw was shocking. And it made me question what's going on. There's something definitely going on with the dragon. I know that much, but... What's slaying the dragon? Why is the dragon being slayed? And then I saw these supports. I can't dwell on it too much. Coaster Chow will give you more details, but... I'm not sure what to make of it. Again, I'll, I'll leave him to make the decisions and make the predictions, but I can't tell what they look like, so... Listen, it's a quick one, but I gotta go. Just stay tuned to every single word he says. Please, keep this to yourselves, because if any of this information gets out, we could be in trouble by competitive theme parks. They may decide to do something completely different, so keep this between us be a big surprise. I gotta go. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadogs, the board board built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update where today we're going to be talking about Adventureland in Iowa. Now today is all about what's been going on on site for the replacement of the dragon, now confirmed to be known as Dragon Slayer, uh, for 2021. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media, and make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question for our next Q&A video for when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So this is all about the Dragon Slayer. This is the brand new ride coming to Adventureland Iowa for 2021. And we've had some supports on site via a Reddit image. A, a shout out to whoever posted this on Reddit. Uh, but we're going to put the Reddit image on your screen. And we're going to talk about what this could mean. Also, a story. Now, we love a good story time. Okay, we love a good story time here on Coast of Chow. But this story is a very practical story, and it's a practical story of a specific coaster type that looks like it could be related to the supports. Now, for those of you who need a bit of background on it, Dragon is a Hoskins Looper Coaster, uh, and that's been uh, removed. Uh, that's been dismantled, and it's set to be replaced by Dragon Slayer, which is a brand new ride. We don't know what it is yet, coming to the park in 2021. Now, foundations haven't been built on the site yet. They've just been dismantling the dragon. However, thanks to a Reddit image, supports for a brand new coaster have been spotted on site. Now, we're going to put the picture on your screen now. Find our bedozy. And right now, guys, let's talk about what this looks like. So, you can probably see it already on your screen by now. Um, but, for those of you who need a little bit more context as to what this could look like... Um, Basically, the supports from what we've been discussing about in the forums seem to be matching what's known as a free spin coaster. Now, the free spin coaster, for those of you who uh, need a reminder, uh, SNS 4D free spins first came into the world on the 23rd of May 2015 when the first one opened. Batman the Ride at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. In 2016, we had the Joker, of course, formerly known as Total Mayhem before they changed the name at the last minute, coming into Six Flags Great Adventure. And then over 2017, that's when it started to really emerge. We had Jokers at Six Flags Great America, Six Flags New England, Six Flags Over Texas, and we also had Arashi at Nagashima Spa Land. And then in 2018, we had Wonder Woman, which is coming to Six Flags Mexico in 2018. We have Batman the Ride, which opened in 2019 at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. And we do have World Fairy Tale Land, which is opening an unknown 4D free spin. However, this is not the same as the other ones. This is, in fact, a custom model. And SNS website did mention that the roller coaster is available in six element or ten element layout options. 
Now the free spin story is an interesting one and I say it's an interesting one because I personally believe that we are looking here at a potential custom model uh, so maybe not the six element version we could be looking at another ten element version just to sort of uh, bring more up on the site however the supports do look to um, be similar to a 4D free spin now obviously the replacement the Hoskit the Hopkins looper coaster dragon that opened back in 1990 and of course closed at the end of last season uh, when it last operated so you know it's it, and I've shown you the site before in videos in fact we did take a Google Earth image of the dragon site I'll put that image back on your screen right now find so you can see the dragon site or the site of the former now former dragon coaster at Adventureland Iowa uh, on your screen on Google Earth. So I spoke about in the last video how the dragon was quite a, an outstretched layout. It did some really nice turns around the lake. Um, so, you know, we, we, we're looking at... An, I spoke about how we could look for an outstretched coaster. I spoke about an RMC Raptor maybe going there. Or, some, or I think some people... Uh, did want to see on other videos that I watched that from other predictions maybe a chance GTX hyper would work on the site uh, but if you look very very closely and we sort of uh, use uh, that free spin support uh, spotted on site as an example uh, what you've got on your screen right now specifically in terms of the layout uh, is just the station area and the sort of first couple of well the first little hill going into the uh, lift hill um i personally believe they could just use that plot of land now obviously it would be a bit of a waste of land in my opinion uh because you've got a really nice outstretched coaster however my theory is i think they could use the other plot of land to expand around the back of the dragon lake so you've got the 4d free spin go you, so you, go, you go over the bridge uh where the station area for dragon is and basically the free spin would just be there but then you could have new connecting paths where you could expand the part around the back or you could create a little station area on your screen now find a bit dozy, you could create a little station area where uh, one of the other track sections are uh, near the station area for the one of the wooden coasters well the wooden coaster right next to dragon uh, and you could create a little coaster well not a little coaster but you could create a coaster that intertwines with the wooden coaster that sort of fills the back of the area the rest of the area that's used by the dragon coaster so uh that's just you know one theory another theory is you could put a couple of flat rides in two or three flat rides in and expand the path around the back uh so you could use the free spin for the for the station area and then where the other pieces of track are uh, you use that land for a couple of flat rides two or three flat rides or family rides uh, just to expand the park's family and thrill layout in terms of non-coaster additions uh but i definitely think that if we are looking at a free spin my theory well one of my other theories it's a bit of a long shot but what i really want to see is an extended free spin layout now what you might not know about this is uh, what when i mean extended free spin layout i personally believe that i want to see that that whole dragon layout and actually use the free spin track to not um, completely retract the dragon layout with an SNS 3D free spin track, so not the exact clone of the dragon layout. But I would like to see a free spin layout where it's not compact to one little location. I want to see an extended track with inversions, kind of like a 4D free spin. Look at a f uh, not not a 4D free spin. Look at a fourth dimension coaster. Look at X2 at Magic Mountain. Look at um, Ijanika. Uh, at Future Q Highland. Look at examples of a 4D, uh, fourth dimension uh, spin coaster. Look at how they do that. I'd like to see SNS maybe move into the extended free spin market and do an SNS extended free spin coaster or a fourth dimension free spin coaster and do an extended layout where it's not just like rooted to one specific location. Have it go around the whole layout of the dragon and where that stood. 
But I think my best guess, in, in, unfortunately, is they're just going to use that station area, that little rectangular plot of land where the station area is, just, you know, a bridge cross away, and that'll be where the new coaster is. So I think my best guess now is we are going to see just an, a regular uh, either six element or ten element free spin coaster called Dragon Sire. And obviously from the support colour, we can, even though it might not be painted yet, or you never know, it, it might be painted since it's on site now. Uh, it, will, it looks like we're going to get some white support, so that's like a signature colour that's going to pay homage to the old Dragon Coaster. Uh, but what are my thoughts on the potential of a free spin coaster? Six element or ten element, we don't know yet. Uh, it's not confirmed it's a free spin, by the way. This is just what from the supports, and it looks like a free spin support. Uh, so what do I think of the possibility of a free spin coaster coming to... Uh, Adventureland Iowa. Well, it they could have chosen better. I will I will be completely honest. I think they could have chosen a better coaster. I think an RMC Raptor single rail coaster would have been nice. Um, it would have been nice for them to go along uh, a completely different route and maybe go with uh, like the Chance GTX Hyper, like a lightning run at Kentucky Kingdom. Um, I want you know we haven't really seen much Han Chance rides Hyper GTXs since Lightning Run. At at, at Kentucky Kingdom so you know I think maybe more of them would have been good um, there were other types of coasters as well that would have been nice but I think for what they were aiming for I think you know even the dragon was kind of an old coaster and you know not many people liked the smoothness it was quite rough apparently according to people um, but it was a nice sight and you could I, I did see a comment from one subscriber who said that they could always hear the roar from somewhere like the roar of the the track and and certain elements and things like that so you know that'll be a memory that people will take away it might not be a good memory it might not be a bad memory but it's a mixed memory so people will take that away from that but you know in terms of a thrill coaster that does its job Maybe they're going in the right direction with this. I think that's the thing you got to take away from this Yes, it might not be this outstretched coaster layout like a Raptor or a chance hyper uh, That we were all wishing for Some people might have liked free spin to come to the park Maybe some people will have been sat there thinking well hang on a minute They don't have to use the whole plot of land because they want to expand it for more attractions Just use the the station area and turn it into a free spin or some kind of compact launch coaster you know in that in terms of that Route if they're going to want to expand with maybe like another coaster around the back of the dragon like on the back end of the dragon site if they're going to use that and sort of intertwine a, a layout with the the wooden coaster right next to it then maybe maybe that is the right route to go maybe they go with a free spin for that station area and then use the rest of the back of land for more attractions or maybe a new coaster maybe even now this is something I want to happen have that free spin on the station area and maybe invest in a single rail or a chance gtx hyper um to intertwine with um the the wooden coaster right next to the dragon uh and have the station area right near to the wooden coaster station so you know th th there's a million different things they could do with the rest of the dragon plot of land but it will be quite weird to see something not outstretched like we first thought and have this uh, compact free spin coaster either six element or ten element and that's the the two that could go down they could extend the ten element they might not be on the website but they might extend the ten element and they may do a 15 element free spin coaster this may be the world's tallest fastest longest most inverting element you know free spin coaster so i think adventureland could be going down i think in my personal opinion, I think they're going to go down the six element route. I think it's very rare to go down more than six elements. And that is what World Fairytale Land in China are doing with theirs that's under construction. But I definitely think that there's potential to do that. But I think it's very more likely to go down uh, the six element route. But the positives I will take from it is it's a thrill coaster. It does the job it's meant to do. It replaces the dragon. It gives a brand new seating arrangement to the park, which is something they're not used to. They're not used to a, a wing coaster style uh, or some kind of fourth dimension free spin style seating arrangement, uh, which is very, very nice. Uh, and, you know, 
I didn't, obviously, there was no confirmation on the name of Dragon Slayer in the last video, but I can confirm it is going to be called Dragon Slayer. Um, I can confirm that name now. Somebody commented on the last video on this and said, you know, the, the name is confirmed to be Dragon Slayer now. So I can say for certain that Dragon Slayer is the name of this ride. Uh, it does look pretty good. I'm not going to lie, the Dragon Slayer name. I like it. I like the, the teasing they're doing with this. Uh, and like I said to Adventureland, I messaged them on Instagram and I was like, you know what? You know, I'll send this video across. Hope you like it. I'll stay updated. If you've got any updates, please send them across. Feel free if you want to. Uh, so, you know, I, w I do want to work with the park and stay updated on these on these updates on the new coaster. And, of course, if I see any other updates online, I'll be sure to bring them to you guys. Uh, but it looks pretty set on, potentially, depending on the look of the, the supports, if it's something else as well. If there's another coaster type that could fit that support type. Uh, but for now, it looks very much certain to be a SNS 40 free spin coaster called Dragon Slayer. Uh, so, obviously, we knew the name by now, but of course, now it looks like it's going to be a free spin. Again, we're not too sure if it's going to be six element, which is what I think it will be, or ten element, and they'll go or more, more than ten elements, maybe. Uh, so, they may go even rarer than that. Uh, so, it should be interesting to see what's going to happen with this. But thank you very much, guys, for watching this news update on Adventureland Iowa. Please like, comment, subscribe, and for now, guys, my name is Coast Child, Kill on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.